Hi, my name is Tristan with GamingSEO.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a really neat tool to gain more views on your videos and rank a little bit higher in search. This will save you a ton of time if you show your videos to Twitter and Facebook and Blogger and Tumblr or any other kind of website. The tool that we're going to be using today is called If This Then That or IFTTT and it's a favorite among many SEOs especially since it's free. What it basically does is it looks for a specific action on a website called a trigger and when it sees those triggers it performs another action. So if this happens then that happens. For example if you upload a new video to your YouTube channel then it will see that as a trigger and it will share your video to Facebook. This can help your channel in two different ways. First it sends your video out to all the social media accounts that you have set up which should bring in at least a few views. Second, if you also push your videos to a website or a blogger page, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, and those websites have their own traffic and their own metrics, then that will transfer over to your video and its metrics will increase and you'll rank higher in Google and YouTube. There are some ways to take advantage of the second benefit, but it will require that you either purchase a pre-made network, which isn't really that expensive and is totally worth the money, or to buy some expired domains to connect them to your network. Again, totally viable. But it's better to leave that until you have a little bit more experience under your belt or to buy one of these networks that have already been built. I do have a couple of recommendations if you are interested in purchasing one of these networks, you'll find those in the description of this video. Okay, now that we had the background information taken care of, let's go ahead and get into building our very first IFTTT network. First thing that we're going to want to do is create an account. Email, password, normal stuff, shouldn't be too complicated. Now that we're here, we're going to start by creating an applet. Click here where it says My Applets in the Site menu, and then New Applet. In the search bar, type in YouTube. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new applet that pushes a YouTube video to a Facebook page. Select When I Upload a New Video. Now click on where it says That. You can scroll through the list of options or type in Facebook. We want to create a link post, which is a post with a link. We'll leave the URL alone but where it says message, let's click on add ingredient. First we'll add the title, which is the title of your YouTube video, and the description, which is the description of your video. You can do more, but this fits our needs for the time being. Now click on create action and finish. Cool, that was super easy. We're gonna make another one. This time we're gonna push our videos to Blogger. Before we do this, you'll need to create a blogger account, but it's very simple and you shouldn't have any trouble doing that. So again, we're going to My Applets, New Applet, and under this, we're going to choose YouTube, and when we upload a new public video, just like last time. Under that, we'll search for blogger, and then we want to find the option that says Create a Post. Alright, this time we're going to do something a little bit more complicated. For the title, we're going to write new video about colon and leave the title ingredient. And this will name each new post new video about and then automatically add the name of the video that we just uploaded. Where it says body, we're going to delete everything and start from scratch. We'll start by adding the embed code and this will make the video visible on the blog post. Next we're going to add the description ingredient. This will add some more text to our post and make it a little bit longer. Google likes lots of content. Now between those two we're going to do something a little bit crazy. Type in exactly what you see on the screen. Now what this does is it will create a clickable link to your YouTube video, where the link text is the title of your video. This is important, especially if you've been using the keywords in your titles like you should be, since this is another very strong signal to YouTube and Google that your video is about this specific topic and should rank or be suggested to other people because of it. Again, this is a very strong signal to the YouTube robots. Under labels, we're not really as picky. We want to make the video as easy to find on the blog as possible, so I usually just leave in like YouTube, maybe gaming or something along those lines. Remember that all the videos that are uploaded this way are going to have the exact same labels, and so you don't really want to put in a hundred of these things because they're all going to lead to the exact same information. So one or two tops, you don't really need anything more than that. Once that's done, click on Create Action and Finish. And we're done. Now let me show you what I have set up for one of my channels. And this is actually pretty neat. So what happens is whenever I upload a new video, it's automatically shared to my Facebook page, 
to a Tumblr blog, to Pinterest, and to Blogger. And whenever I upload to Instagram, it's also shared to my Twitter and to Facebook. New blog posts on the Blogger page are also shared to Twitter. And so everything's connected. All I need to do in order to let everyone know that I've uploaded a new video, whenever a new video is uploaded, is share my video thumbnail to Instagram along with a link to the video. And then that's shared to all the different social networks and is embedded across all of my websites. There are a few other websites that are also attached to this network, you just can't see them in this particular account because they're in separate accounts. There are some other neat things that this can do as well. For example, I have a tool here that will call my phone whenever I press a button, or sometimes it will email me a funny GIF. Spend some time and look at some of the other neat interactions that they have on here. There are a ton of things that you can do to automate your life and save some time. But allow me to be the first to congratulate you on becoming the proud owner of your very first IFTTT network. Again, there are some very crazy multi-tiered networks out there. And again, they're not really that expensive. So if you don't want to build them yourself, definitely look into that. They are very viable options and they also tend to be stronger than these freshly built ones. But again, with time and with consistent targeted uploads, then your network will be very strong within a short amount of time. I hope this video has been helpful for you and for your channel. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe for more free search engine optimization and monetization tutorials for YouTube gamers. Our goal is to help you get more views and make more money while playing video games. You can also join our Discord and sign up for our weekly emails that contain free keyword reports, affiliate and sponsorship opportunities, and more training like this. Also, make sure to leave any questions that you have about YouTube SEO in the comments and we'll do our best to answer you right away, and we may even turn your question into a video. But this is Tristan from GamingSEO.com, have yourselves a great day and I will see you in game.